Welcome to the Setting Up WebChat video. During this video, you'll learn to brand the appearance, create default messages, and set up locations for WebChat. Let's start by discussing how WebChat can make a difference for your business. WebChat gives website visitors a personalized customer service experience because all their questions are being answered by your experts. WebChat also untethers website visitors from their computers and takes conversations on the go so they can get the answers they need in a text. Finally, conversations that are started through WebChat will all be centralized inside of the Podium inbox along with all your other interactions. Let's take a look at how to personalize the appearance of WebChat so it matches your website. It's important to note that if you have multiple websites, you should have multiple WebChat widgets so you can brand each one to match a given website. We'll start by giving it a name. Website visitors can't see this name. It just helps you recognize your web chat, especially if you have more than one web chat widget. Now that we've named it, let's take a look at the different ways you can change the widget's appearance. First, the greeting text. This will appear above the web chat icon on your website. Make sure the message is brief and explains that you'll be responding to questions via text. Next, you can select an avatar or profile image for the widget. This image will appear with the greeting text before a visitor starts a conversation. A profile image lets website visitors know they're communicating with an actual person rather than a chatbot or automated message. Keep in mind that you'll need to select a profile picture from an existing Podium team member. You can't upload an image. Next, you can change the widget's color to match your website's branding. You can either type in a hex code if you know the value, or click the check mark to drag and select a color. Next, select one of the three WebChat icons. Finally, determine whether you'd like WebChat to appear at the bottom left or bottom right of your website. Now it's time to create an auto response message. This is the initial message you want visitors to receive when they ask a question through WebChat. The message should explain what the average response time is while keeping the tone friendly and approachable. Also, the message needs to be fewer than 160 characters. Now you might be wondering what happens if your business is closed and a visitor sends a message after hours. The auto response will be sent during your business hours. You can set your hours in the Manage tab. For each of your locations in Podium, you will only have one set of business hours. If a visitor texts you outside of your business hours, they will receive a different after hours message. You can customize the message if needed. Let's wrap up this video by discussing how to add locations to WebChat. You might have multiple locations that use the same website. If this is the case, you'll need to add each of those Podium locations to WebChat. When multiple locations are enabled for a WebChat widget, website visitors will be given the opportunity to direct their message to a specific location of their choosing. To help visitors pick a location, Podium will auto-detect the visitor's zip code through their internet provider and show all locations from nearest to farthest. Now that you've watched the Setting Up WebChat video, you should know how to brand the appearance, create default messages, and set up locations for WebChat.